Hello there, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com. It's a free website for all things Photoshop, Lightroom, and anything else we find interesting. In this video, we're gonna take a look at conditional actions inside Photoshop and just how helpful they can be. So let's jump in and see what's what. So here I am in Adobe Bridge, and you can see that I've got eight images here ready for me to use, and all of these come to me from Adobe Stock. Now on the left hand side there, underneath the filter, you can see that I've opened up orientation. And in fact, we have five images that are in landscape and three in portrait. This could be hundreds of images if you take wedding photography or event photography, something like that. I'm using eight here just for speed. Now what I'm after here is to put the words Adobe stock, which is where I got these images from, in the corner. If it's portrait orientation, then I want it in the top right hand corner. If it is in landscape, then I want it in the bottom right hand corner. And that's where conditional actions really come in helpful. There's lots of other things you can do with this, but that's where I'm going to use it for now. All right, let's jump into Photoshop first of all and set up one of three actions. So I'm gonna pick this one here and this, and then take that into Photoshop. Okay, there we go. Now once in Photoshop, you can see that I've got a landscape orientated and a portrait orientated, which means now I can set up my first of my three actions. So this one's in portrait, so I'm gonna to go to my actions and I'm gonna create a new set and I'm gonna call this name uh, because this, I'm gonna be naming them. And then I'm gonna create a new action within the set of name. And you can see set name is there. I'm gonna call this one top portrait. There we go, just so I know what's going on. I can give it a function key if I wanted to, and I can give it a different color, which is great if you're using button modes, which I'm not here, so no big deal. All right, I'm gonna press record. Now I'm gonna set up my text. So let's go and get my text here, and just very quickly type Adobe Stock. There we go. And now what I want to do is to put that in the top right-hand corner. So let's get my Move tool. Move that around, control T, and just bring that around there. There we go. Bring that right into the corner. And then maybe click the tick, and then just bring that down a couple of, and to the left a couple. Good. All right, press three on the keyboard, just to make it 30% opacity, and I'm done. So back to my actions, and click stop. So there we go, you can see that it's made a text layer, it's moved it, it's transformed it, and then it's moved it again a little bit, just those little nudges, and it's set the current layer opacity. Good. Let's just check that, make sure it's working okay, so I'm gonna get rid of that layer. And press play on top of port, and there we go, sure enough, there it is. Okay, let's go over to our landscape. And let's do exactly the same again. So I'm gonna to go to my actions, create a new actions inside the set of name. And I'm gonna call this one bottom land. There we go. And I'm gonna say, create a new layer like this. Adobe stock. Oops, let's spell it right, shall we? Adobe stock. And click the tick, move it down into position. There we go, way down there. And then nudge it, there we go. And then three, and stop. Let's double check that. So take that away. And then we've got our top and our bottom, bottom, play, and there it is. Okay, let's take those away for now. And let's close these ones, don't save them, don't need them for now. Okay, now in one of those images with the Adobe stock taken off, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the tone that I want. I'm gonna create a new action. So let's create a new action inside name, and I'm gonna call it tone. There we go. And click record. Now what I want to do here is add a bit of toning to this image, and I'm gonna do this very quickly using lookup tables. Let's use a Fuji there, and then let's create a new one. And we'll go for the nice gray tone, which I'm falling in love with. There we go, good. All right, so that's been added to the image. But now when I run this 
I want it then to add the words Adobe Stock in the relevant place. And that's where conditional actions come in. So now I can go into my actions. You see it's still recording. I can come up to this flyout menu and choose Insert Conditional. And when I do that, I get this dialog box. Now, at the moment it says if current document is landscape, which it is, but I can easily choose one of these other parameters. And depending on what your action wants to do, then you'll choose one of these different parameters. For this case, all we're doing is the difference between landscape and portrait. And you'll notice there's no portrait on this menu at all, just landscape. Because if it isn't landscape, it's gonna be portrait. So if it's not one, then it's the other. So in this case, if the document is landscape, then play action, and we've got bottom landscape, else play top port. So if it isn't landscape, then it must be portrait and do the top. Click OK, and then go file and save. And we can save that. And there we go. Let's close off the, or stop the action. There we go. And I'm going to close that down. Let's go back to bridge and I'm going to just get rid of that that we've already done. Now it's just a case of running the action on all eight of my images or all 8,000 if I wanted to. I'm going to select them all, come to tools, Photoshop, and then batch. You'll see that the set is the name, which is what we want. The action is tone, perfect, that's exactly what we want. We could choose one of the other two, but we do want tone. And then we can do the sources bridge. Let's come over to the destination, save and close. That's gonna be really helpful because it's going to do that whole saving for us. Let's click OK, and off it goes. And it's gonna open, run those actions for us. And I say actions because it's going to take whatever actions we need and uh, do that for us. So there we go, all done. Let's uh, use the filter here. I say all done, nearly done. Let's take the filter here and just have a look at the JPEG images. So here we go, let's have a look at our images. Sure enough, top right, and then this one, can't see it, let me close that down a little bit. It's the bottom right. So I bring that up, we can see that that's exactly where it is, where it's supposed to be. There we go, bottom, top, bottom, bottom, top, exactly as we wanted it to do, because it's run both the actions for us, depending on its orientation. So there we go, that's conditional actions. I'm Eric Reno, this has been a video for tipsquirrel.com. Don't forget to give this a like if you found it helpful, and leave a comment, maybe something you'd like me to cover in the future. Until next time, bye-bye for now.